click our image button even though the text is little you can see that it comes up in this video I'll be showing you how to create an image button let's get straight into it first thing I'm going to do is move this to the side so I can have a bigger space to work with now what we're going to do is head over to activity main and I'm going to head over to Google the reason I'm doing this is just to get any picture I want and you can do this the same way get whatever picture you want I'm going to choose this one what I'm going to do is right click the picture and I'm going to press save image as I'm going to put this in a folder so I can just get it for easy use I'm going to name it tornado of course you can name whatever picture whatever the name you want and I'm just gonna click save now once that's there I'm gonna open this press show in folder and I'm going to click copy once I click copy it's gonna exit this out and get back to Android studio now I'm going to move hello world I'll just leave it right here you can delete it if you want I'm going to get go to buttons and I'm going to place an image button right here now a pop-up screen is going to come and ask me what picture I want to use but you can just exit this out you're going to go to res drawable right click it and we're going to press paste you're just going to press ok you can name it whatever you want I'm going to keep it as tornado and I'm going to press ok now once we do that you can see that our picture is here if you want to see you can double click it and it's right here now for the image button that we put oh, okay it seems like it's not added so we're just going to try it again we probably had to add the picture with it so I'm just going to add it right here and as you can see our tornado picture is right here click it and it's right there remember when you're in constraint layout don't forget to put your constraints or Android studio will say that you have an error it seems that we have an error but it says it, it needs a label but I'm not really gonna give it a label I'm just only gonna leave it as an image so we can just ignore this I'm gonna access this out since it is also a button let's add some functionality into it so what we're gonna do is head over to main activity but before we do the add the logic to it I'm gonna do something simple once we press this we're gonna make sure it just changes this code right here let's do that to first do this what we're gonna do is go to split and I'm going to give them an ID I'm going to leave the, the ID as image and for text view I'm going to just leave the ID as text and I'm going to take out the hello world and I'll just leave it as a, a simple space for now now what we got to do is initialize the widgets let's start by doing text view and I'm just gonna put it text and the same for the image button I'm just gonna keep the name as image just like this now we're going to connect the widgets with their ID. Text equals find view by ID r dot ID dot text. Just to make sure, yes, that's the ID I gave it. Now for the same for the image button. Image equals find, and it's just r dot ID dot the ID you gave it. So R dot ID dot the name you gave it. The name you gave it. And I'm pretty sure the name I gave it was image, but let me check. Yes. Image. Now what we're gonna do is set an on-click listener for the image button. 
image.set on click listener you and if you don't know what this does it basically just do whatever you want once the button is clicked so we're gonna add a function that changes the text and once the user clicks the button it'll change the text we're gonna do text dot set text to tornado since that's the name very simple very easy I'm gonna show you guys on the emulator I'll wait for it to load up now that the emulator has fully loaded up once we click our image button even though the text is little you can see that it comes up congratulations everyone if you enjoyed this tutorial go on ahead and go to my channel and check out my other ones mass programmer out